Welcome back to uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Ooh, put that gun away. Hold on. I was cleaning my guns, but I don't know which one. I said one was dirty, but... Oh, that one. Yeah, that one was a little filthy. Alright. I think it's just that one. We're gonna just... Um, put that away. Put that away. Oh. Nope. Alright, we're gonna go in here and see what... Ah. Uh, here we go. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. They're Skinner's about. We need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. Do you want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Uh, oh, what are we about to do? Oh, I got to drive this? I know the quickest way. Follow me. All right. Ooh, look at those wheels. Righty. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? Wow. I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Wow. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. I hope so. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Now, where were you? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm 
chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. He talks a You're real good game. Good hands. I know this country well. Good. You'll be the first one to get shy, watch. <laughs> Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. <laughs> Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Okay. Let me do right. Nails. Nails, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best Smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. I hate to say okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. Oh, he probably thinks he needs to help build. So Milton is uh, working with cakes, hardwood, and timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was all right then. Simple. Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Everyone find some cover! See, he talking about some heat of I knew he was gonna be the first one to get shot. Oh, they yo, hold up. Who are these people? I don't know, I'm trying to get some dead shot. It's the spinner! You okay? What's up there? See the tree line. I'm trying to get these headshots. I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come what on. What the heck? Got Mr. 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 Smith. Help me. Mr. Double. We going. We going. Yo. You made? Hey, we gotta get to work. They climbed up in the trees. Shoot the ones up there first. 
Oh shit, one tree. Another one? Where? Hold up guys, there's somebody in the tree? Oh no, I don't see him. Oh, is it this tree? Oh. Yo, guys, I was not seeing that tree. Okay, let's move. He took him down the hill. Let's go. You get played once I'm done putting holes in you. No more, buddy. Oh, shoot. Dude, y'all are just... They're losing their whole, like, camp. What's up? Where my boy at? When I was talking all that, how he can... He's always looking. Oh, no, there's my tools. Where's Mr. F mm. All right. Oh, that's messed up. You gotta move fast. Come on. Dang. Right. Let's go. Back to the road. That's kind of messed up, yo. That was my boy. Dang, they took him out, man. Dang, that's messed up. That's kind of sad. He was talking all that noise, too. Like, he was just talking. He said he watched the trees. He was not watching anything because he was just talking, kind of bragging about himself. And he's the first one to get shot with the arrow. I knew it. He was a smooth damn. talker. A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Let's get it. Everyone knows. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. All I want to do is, um... Build my little... My little space. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh, my Lord. What'd they do to us? Dang. Come on. We gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. And we just okay. killed all of them for what? John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Now the question is Man, they oh, have number all those bodies. Brother. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Oh, oh, oh. We are right down the road. Uncle! I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner brothers. Bottom? Enough. 
Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Oh, well, my gosh. we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Ooh, that was a rough one right there. I knew he was gonna get killed, though. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. <laughs> I wonder how the drinks tasted back then. Let's see what I did. Did I get my headshots in? All right. Let's see. Oh. Well. Oh, I had a headshot all the ones hiding in the trees. Find them in two minutes. That one about to have him completely using only sidearm. What? Well, if I would have known this, I would have did it. Huh. Interesting. Let's go to, uh, talk to Uncle now. Let's see what he has to say. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Oh, you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. <laughs> You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Wait, they didn't stop working. Oh, they gonna make me work too? Oh, 
some more. Oh my gosh. Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. <laughs> I like the song. They like really the ice cold wind whenever. Sounds pretty good. No matter. Any weather. We're together. Yo, this thing gonna catch fire quick as all the way. Yo, can we get some... Still in not to leak. And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. <laughs> and you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Charles, Gentlemen, you better stay. To this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Wow, My he really darling Abigail. He really built that. I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsup a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. <laughs> the boy. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Aww. few days later. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Where did he send a letter to? Uh-oh. Oh, man. I'm scared. What's going to happen? Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Alright, now it looks like we have to go find Uncle. Alright, we're gonna head over and see where Uncle is. And, uh... Yeah, I mean... Check out our home. A little farm? Like, we, we're doing it. to find you working. Nation John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So, that when you're old and facing death, <laughs> I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. 
This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Oh, goats shoot. is easy, but okay. they taste awful. I don't like goats. <laughs> and cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber <laughs> sellers all have wow. them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. Wow. I'll deal with them. Can you imagine, like, what they were thinking? Then I never was that fast. In the black water. Let's go. All right. Now this fella probably saw you. Thought here, country rube. Doesn't know a free cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect them for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. <sighs> Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. Come on. <laughs> It'd be nice if you didn't run off on me again. So what were you talking about before? It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose this my home. This is him. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. And how are we... How's little Emily? Emily. Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, we're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down All right, of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's, uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, I'll. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Why are you acting like that? How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, but I, this I, man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. Uh-oh. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look Yo. after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. All right, here we go. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Here we go. All right, this Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Old up, waiting on some out. I 
and we're gonna get to him first. All right, so. Tidy. Hey, oh, so man. who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin. Slow down. Uh, whoa. No more of that, okay? So, anyway, you head back down to where we was, New Austin. You're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law, except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation. But it's take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, uh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that, this is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Alright, we're gonna try to do it. Take it open. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come call I me knew now. it. <laughs> You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's oh, go good. for a ride. I didn't have to, um, We're going to actually put him on the horse. Rhodes. It's different there now. I hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Oh, shoot. Why they cut to this whole scene like this? Oh, good. I have to ride the horse all the way there. Or my back control. <laughs> uh, we'll make it. Cause we need money. We need a barn. Okay, roads. It's crazy cause it's like it's giving me the this vibes of the original Red Dead Redemption. What a girl you're becoming. Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Okay, right, let's get this guy. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred! Three hundred for her head. 
Mr. <laughs> Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> oh, is he gonna try to... Talk me into. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. What's going on? Ooh, just rode into town. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard! Two! This is a good town now! Three! Let him come it, boys! Kill them! Shoot those bastards! Make them bleed! Why am I not... Hold on! John! I mean, oh my god! get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. Oh and my gosh. another guys. $50 uh, besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Dang, now we gotta go get this dude. Come on. All right, which Where way we do we go? Find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Then start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad wow. luck with bounties being stole off of you. I know. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done... Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come Better. back with Cortez... <laughs> we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that yeah. kind of offer is tempting to you, 
then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Yo, how far is this place though? Hold Whoa. up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Vantage point. Alright. Get it! Yo! We gotta go. Yeah, I just didn't want my horse to run into a tree again. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. Oh, there it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Whoa! She said keep distance, Whoa. but she loud. Let's go up. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. Ah, oh, yeah. shoot. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. Oh man, that's, I gotta do sniping They look again. asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Alright guys, we're gonna stop the video right here. And then see if we can get these guys first. Uh, I know me, I'll fail. A couple of times, so I want to make sure I get them first before I actually uh, finish the video.